I'm going to read a declaration of the individual, the Universal Declaration of the Individual. This is put together by Patrick Smith and a community of people. And so uh, this is in order to declare myself, uh, I, I withdraw my consent from the current government of the United States. When in the course of human events it becomes necessary for a person to dissolve the political bonds which have changed them into servitude to a non-consensual government and is assumed among their fellow humans the separate and equal station to which their self-ownership entitles them in decent respect to the opinions of mankind requires that they should declare the causes that impact them to the separation. I hold these truths to be self-evident, that all rational beings are created equal, whether endowed by nature or their creator, they possess free will, the ability to conceptualize and actualize a preferred state, and a capacity for agency, self-determination, and reciprocity, a respect for which requires mutual agreement to hold one's consent, sacrosanct and involute that from this respect flow unalienable rights, among which are life, liberty, and self-ownership, that to secure these rights, no government, no person, or group of people which violate the consent of another may be suffered to exist, that whenever any such entity becomes destructive of these ends, it is the right of the person to withdraw their consent, defend against it, and to abolish it. Mankind's ability to suffer injustice seemingly infinite when faced with danger nourishes well these governments that stand to attack me for mine own safety. Their centuries long histories of abuses and usurpations pursuing invariably more involuntary power invices their true nature of absolute despotism. It is my right to throw off such government to choose to suffer their evils no longer and to provide new guards for my future security. Such has been the patient sufferance of myself and such is now the necessity which constrains me to abolish their former systems of involuntary government. The history of these governments is a history of repeated injuries and usurpations, all having in direct object their establishment of an absolute tyranny over me and my property. In evidence of this, let the following facts be submitted to a candid world. That some of the tyrannical evils I have suffered under be known to all. They, absence of any existing victim, as a matter of course, threaten to accost extort, rob, injure, and even murder innocent humans where no damaged party is to be found. They have twisted the good nature of the very people capable of helping others by conducting a mass extortion upon the productive and claiming to do so in the victims' names. Their welfare uses the resources of some to buy political power from others while actually helping very few all in violation of individual consent. They being unsatisfied in their tyranny here where I live, march around the globe grinding up human life as if it were valueless. Their militaries creating new enemies that ha hate me instead of them. And then in the utmost insult claim that as they do is for my safety and my freedom. They, through extortion that they name taxation, have so thoroughly, forcefully interfered in every single peaceful interaction and transactions taken through the course of time that proper restitution has become utterly incalculable. The damages and the criminal violations of sovereignty nearing infinite. My mere existence, my mere existence indebts me to no one. They having self-restraint 
no self-restraint or decency, have a list of substances for which if I peacefully place inside or around my person, they will attack, rob, cage, or murder me, to add insult to vicious injury. The law enforcers that moot of such inhumane punishments are touted as heroes. Finally, even their system for resolving disputes about their laws and accusations of crimes is an utter failure by any measure. Justice is far too expensive and even when properly funded, still rarely found. They use threats of extreme punishment to bargain for fast capitulations, admitting even false guilt. Worse still, while preventing me from choosing another system of justice, theirs grants de facto immunity to their own agents, law enforcers, politicians, and other friends of the court. Even when they stand accused of the worst heinous crimes against humanity, murder and rape are no exception. In every state of these, of these oppressions, I have, a I have petitioned for my redress in the most humble of terms. My repeated petitions have been unanswered. Only by repeated injury, a ruler by definition may find no free people under their rule, and no government lacking my consent is fit nor just in their power. Nor have I been wanting in attentiveness to those that still support this government. I have informed them that their control violates my consent. I have informed them that their legislature bears no right, rightful jurisdiction over me. I have reminded them of the nature of my freedom and right to exist without violent controls being placed upon me. I have appealed to their sense of justice and magnanimity, and I have begged them to accept, exempt me from their usurpations without demanding that they disband their own way of conducting themselves, which constantly interfere in my connections and associations. They too have been deaf to the voice of justice. And consequently, I must therefore acquiesce in the necessity which denounces my say separation and hold them as I hold the rest of mankind enemies in war and peace friends. I therefore being the sole proprietor of my mind and body, appealing to the rational minds of the world for the rectitude of my intentions do in my name and by my sovereign authority, solemnly publish and declare that this person and of right ought to be free and independent. That I am absolved of all allegiance to this government and any other system or structure of control and regulation that all political connection between myself and the state is and ought to be totally dissolved. And that as a free independent person, I have full power to protect myself using necessary means, contract with others, establish commerce, and do all other acts and things which independent people may of right do. And for the support of this declaration, I agree and pledge by my life, my fortune, and my sacred honor, I will hold sacrosanct the agency, consent, and property of others. Likewise, expecting, requiring, and demanding the same be afforded to me. I own myself. I lead myself. 